Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the Stockswish.com and welcome. Welcome to Netflix. I thought I would go over this exact play. Um, if you had done this today, if you wanted to do the aggressive buy, if you had read the gap where it was, uh, this went to the number. It went to the number that I thought it would go to when I did the video around lunchtime and I was so just overwhelmed about the beauty of this thing. And uh, basically this is over here for at least today. It's quarter of three. This isn't gonna make a new high today. But it did go up to 310 and actually almost got to the second target I'd given, which was 312. It got up to 311.65. But I don't think this gets over this today. But this is going to close looking like this. Beautiful. Just amazing. And once again, I mean, you cannot buy this here in a 15 minute chart. Right? And you can't even buy this in the five. So guess where their entry was? Whoop, the one minute. And the only way you can be aggressive with something like this is if you know how to read gaps, because this is very aggressive to do something in the first five minutes of the day. I do it all the time, uh, but that's because I understand how to read gaps. You can see the gap up here, beautiful. Buys right here, dude, right over 297.50, and the stop would have had to be a buck. It has to be down here at 296.50 because of the spread in Netflix and, and the cushion. And it just never looked back. As soon as it triggered, you were up, and you never looked back the whole day. And, of course, the first target was the high, 305. Back here from 2011. It was July of 2011 when it hit up over the number here. There. Where is it? Oh, I just lost it again. Now, where is that guy? What day was it? It's before it got down, actually. Um, here, July. So 3.05 was the target. But you know, once it hit over that and kept going, let's see what time of the day that was exactly. It was in the morning. It was here, 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 this bar here, 10.25. It was late, but it was in the morning. Uh, that it went over that number. She could have actually kept it on through, but you know, it is hard to stay in something like this. So you might have been out in here. And this is still an amazing, unbelievably terrific trade. But if you stayed in it to, you know, to 310, okay, which was the target I had said. And if you only took 100 shares, so 100 shares would have meant you risked $100. If you stayed in it to 310, with the entry at 297.50, you're gonna make $1,250 today. So it's a, you know, that is a good risk to reward. It's over 12 Rs. You know, this is what happens in gap plays. And again, I had, I discussed this in a webinar the other week. This is a perfect picture of power. This is institutional buying. There's no way about this, no way, no how. And do you see the people that try to short this thing? They think, well, it's going to come in. It's, gonna, it's starting to get climactic now. This is what people say. Absolutely not. This will close looking exactly like this or something even bigger. It's not coming in. It's not coming in at all today. It's 247. This isn't coming in. This isn't going climactic. There's nothing. This is why it's so important to understand even gaps, because if you try to do another strategy within a gap play of the day of the gap, the day that it's doing it, it's not going to work. It's, a, it's actually a terrible thing to do because it's dangerous. This is a power trending all day. It's not going climactic. It could go another $20 and not go climactic. It is real buying that's coming into the stock today. It's actually new buying that's coming into the stock today, so no one's selling out of it. It's not going red today at all, not for a dink. This is people taking some profits into here. Barely, okay? I mean, this is new buying in the stock today. Institutional buying, new buying in the bullish gap, the continuation gap today in Netflix that took it over the highs, over the all-time highs that it had, and it is making all-time highs today. Today, Netflix made all-time highs. It's never seen this number before in its life. And for people that you know don't understand how to read gaps, it was actually really an easy read for me. Uh, so happy and proud of myself for seeing this this way. How did I figure it out? How did I know how to do it? Because I, I read this gap. I read this gap here. This was an absolutely amazing, perfect gap. And, and the thing is, it was a corrective gap. 
So what happened was Netflix had been in a downtrend for a while. And when the stock gapped in January of this year there, it was no longer in a downtrend. It was at that moment an uptrend. And I remember even looking at this today, this gap, and people were wanting to fade this. I said, don't fade this. This is a buy. This is an immediate buy. Again, this is institutional buying. You can see the fall through it had the second day into itself and has never looked back. And all the nice, beautiful continuation gaps all the way up. So the fact is that it was easy for me to read it because I rate gaps using a 26-point rating system. And this thing did it. It did everything we're supposed to do and then more. You know, I'm getting the $500 number for the target in a year because I'm just good at seeing these things before they hit these numbers. Just like I saw the 310 today. And even 312. I mean, it got within 35 cents of that, of that dream target at 312 today. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do with this here tomorrow, but it was a beautiful long play today, and it's just higher and higher still. And, you know, once again, the day of the gap, the day of the first original gap is the best, best, best day to buy these things because you don't even have to worry about um, re-entering them or doing ads or anything if you just want to hold your original position. And, and this was a nice entry here. This was a nice entry here on this for a swing trade or a core trade, it's really, you know, it's really a core trade because it's been nine months till it hit this number. It took nine months to do it, but there's still less than a year. And a year from now, I think this is going to be worth almost double what it's worth right now. So if anybody did this, you just, just hold on to it now. You know, you can take some out today, but why? New buying came in. This is new buying today. So, you know, as an intraday play, I don't know what this is going to do tomorrow. I think it'll boop up over 315 at least tomorrow, but it is very hard to buy this tomorrow after this type of day today, intraday, as an intraday day trade. But today it was an amazing, beautiful gap. And the aggressive entry on it was the only, only technical entry in this stock position today. There was no other entry that made any sense, no other entry that had the same risk to reward, no other entry that you could have done with the same amount of conviction. The only one that you took that didn't suffer. And if you took any late entry in this, you suffer because it wiggled and jiggled until it went again and really had a huge stop to take this later, like way bigger than even the morning one. Again, I don't think this gets over the high here before they close, but anything's possible. Let's just look at the 60. Nah. But do you see how here people think things are going to climactic? This is power, power, institutional buying, money, 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 money. Remember, buy strength, short weakness. <laughs> Don't do the opposite. The trend is your friend. Read the gap. Trade in the direction of the gap. Gap fills don't work. I hope everyone sees that's insane. Do you see how insane that is? You may as well just say this is never going to fill itself now. This is a bullish gap to play in the direction long. Look at this thing. This is incredible. Look at how fast this is happening. The long-term picture of this chart, this 200 has absolutely made a scoop. The 200's made a scoop. And for the 200 to make a scoop is power, power buying. Really nice. And, and you know, the market's lifting higher. We're in a bullish market, so why not? People want to invest in something. They see the potential. You know, they're doing it. They're putting their money in this thing. Ride it up. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you're interested in learning how to rate gaps or learning my 26 point rating system, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The next class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Email me if you'd like the information to sign up. I have some spots available left. Um, I'm taking a limited number of people for each class because, you know, I want to be able to answer everyone's questions in the two days. It's an eight hour day at both days. So if you'd like more information or to sign up, email me at melissa at the stocks, Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.